Hello, welcome back on my YouTube channel. Recently, QGIS 3.38 has been released. Since this version, it is possible to animate raster time series where your raster layers are in bands that have a specific temporal frequency. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to visualize raster time series from PC raster models. I'm going to explain this with an example PC raster rainfall runoff model that is available through the PC raster website. First, I'm going to create a backdrop and I'll use the DEM that is used in the model and style it with a hill shade. You can use any backdrop to visualize your model results if your data is georeferenced. Note that PC raster models don't provide the CRS with the data. Let's have a look at the input and output files of this model. Click right on the folder and choose Open Directory. There we can see the PC raster temporal rasters. You can recognize them by the extension. Dot zero zero one dot zero zero two, where each number is a time step. Normally, we visualize this data using Agila, which comes with PC Raster. But here I'm going to show you how to visualize it using QGIS. Go to the Raster menu, choose Miscellaneous, and choose Build Virtual Raster. In the dialog, click the three dots and choose Add Files. There, select all the raster layers that belong to the temporal raster series. Click Open. You're now selected in that order. Now choose to place each input file into a separate band so you'll create a stack. You could override the projection here so your output file will have the correct projection. In this case I'll leave it open. Now choose an output file name and run this algorithm. This results in a temporal stack. By default, QGIS will use a multiband color renderer to render this stack. We will change this now to a single band pseudo color, so we can assign a ramp to the runoff rasters. Choose one of the time steps and see if the range that is chosen is useful for visualizing your model. In this case, this will work. However, it's nicer to make the zeros transparent, so we can have a better overlay, so I put the opacity to zero. And I can make it even nicer by using a blending mode and I change the blending to multiply. So here we'll see the runoff with the hill shade in the background. Next we're going to the layer properties of this raster stack. And under the temporal tab we check dynamic temporal control. And there we can set fixed time range per band. This will show a table where we can define the begin and end times of the different bands. We can fill this in manually or we can generate this using expressions. Here we generate the begin times and you will recognize here two different functions, make day time and make interval. With make day time, you can create a timestamp defining year, month, day, hour, minute and second. With make interval, you can create the interval value using years, months, weeks, days, hours, minutes, and seconds. In this case, we'll use the band number to indicate the interval. I'll also fill in automatically the end date and time. And that works in a similar way, also with these expressions. In reality, this data set has six hours intervals, so every raster band represents six hours and you can manually modify this or create an expression that will fill in these fields although that might be a bit complicated in this case. Now that we've set the temporal properties of our virtual raster layer I can start the temporal controller. There I can set the range by clicking the reset button and that will fit the range to the range defined for this virtual raster layer. The only thing we need to do now is to set the time step to the source timestamps that we have set, and then we can click play to run the animation. There are some limitations. We cannot currently have two different 2D windows with separate variables from the model animated in time. The temporal controller can only be linked at the moment to the main 2D view. For visualizing multiple variables 
and also in 3D, you can use Aquila that comes with PC Raster.